173 pounds. Of those 24 wins by knockout, only two defeats from Long Island, New York, USA. The challenger, former WBC international heavyweight champion, Joe Smith Jr. His professional record, a perfect one. 15 fights, 15 victories, including 11 big wins by knockout. Domingos Badai from St. Petersburg, Russia, the reigning and defending undefeated WBA light heavyweight champion of the world, Dmitry Bevo. Let's get ready to rumble. I gave you specific detailed instructions in the locker room. I'm already going to tell you two things. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch clothes, bang at the bell. God bless. Bingo. Bingo. Here we go. So Dimitri Bivol, that's him you're looking at there. Against Up Joe against Smith Jr. Fifth stages defense. here. Bivol looking very stern. Generally, he feels his way into a fight. Smith Jr. may look to... He could go down to super oh, middle. Smith down. Look, just circle look. around each other in centre ring, moving straight in behind the right hand there, Smith. Almost like he felt it was always going to fall slightly short. Clara in, in, in Chicago, where he would have had huge Polish support. It does vary the way he puts some meat on the bone, and the opponent feels it. Like you acclimatise the power. When you get hit with a slow it's shot, it, it, the effect is, is that, you know, it hurts you a lot more, and, and the good fight is good lead left hand from Bivolt. 20 or so seconds ago, Smith just trying to jab his way in, got caught on the inside there. Smith is trying to ten seconds, ten seconds bring it to him, but the knee to Sharnel, yeah. few seconds, just heading oh. up to the belt. Bivol, but Bivol, good opening round from him, good accuracy. Doesn't waste. Another solid jab going in from him, doesn't waste the thing. Top there, Eight in ten. He does have a good reach on him. He does have the the advantage in that, basically standing in range or right on the borderline of it all of the time. People just landing a nice solid left up counter there. Lovely one-two down the middle. Nice flurry there from Bivol. Decent Straight. enough. Five seconds. Let's well, the corner there, the Smith corner, led by Jeff. Keep trying to use that jab. That's a stiff looking left hand there from Biff Oland. Just looking uh, at him. Being hurt by anything, I mean, he's a pretty tough guy. Joe Smith. Biff Oland just climbing into a lead left hand there. Didn't he's really. within range to be hit, but actually catching him is a, is a different matter. Yeah, yeah Joe Smith, he's, he can't really get set, and he's. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, Biff looks very ready. Again, the jab just looking to get through there, warming to his task here. You know, looking at the two fighters here, and well, he made it by a pound and a half yesterday. Smith was actually one. These two made it very, very comfortably indeed. Later stage, continuing to dictate terms here. You're, you know, under, you're under a lot of pressure. Walks on to right down with the left, then turns it into a left hook. And I'm sure we will see him here but he doesn't want to be too reckless too gung-ho with it at the moment big overhand right there didn't quite but he just steps in after it there smith i think he fancied that he may have got a little piece of his man there he certainly feels that people certainly look like he wanted to grab hold of smith momentarily that right hand certainly gave him a lot of encouragement prepared to take one to land one who's Better school, technically a better fight. I wonder if it's been enough for him to, to win the round with a good finish. And again, just dips his head and then looks to launch into a lead leg. But these last three rounds particularly have been absorbing a good long look there. When you're throwing your punches, man, you're taking that rest step a little too long. You know what I mean? Throwing your punches, he's getting set. Yeah. Throw. During the, the course of the fight, and I may of misheard but really affects everything.
big left big hand has ball. rocked him now and he's looking to hold on. Smith, you just see that his legs buckled and he was up, but there's a minute and a half to go. And the Russian is looking to pour it on here. Smith trying to answer back with a left hand. And a lovely walk him onto a right hand as well. Chopped a really good right hand down. The accuracy was Smith there. Smith again backs off himself, tries to get that guard. His head has cleared now. There were solid shots from Bivol, but he took them well. Against Sullivan Barrera and still saw out the full. I mean, that, that, that's probably his best attribute, you know, his guts, his... There's that lead left hook, great shot, that definitely hurt Joe Smith. He managed to do the right thing here, didn't he? Just lent in and realised the full extent of it, but I think Bivol there did. Yeah, no, he, he did that, he knew that he landed a solid shot and that it, he, that it hurt Joe Smith, but Joe... Home with it, he hasn't been quite as extravagant with it. In recent rounds yeah looking to bang that right hand over the top going very side on here defense behind the foot that's what gives him such good mobility left, left hand again there on the inside and smith just looked like he might be about to fold the touch there joe smith tough guy though joe smith recovers very quickly these are solid shots but these are punishing shots punches. around the back of the guard up to the head trying to measure the uppercut there just takes off Nice jab from Smith. Good jab to finish it for Joe Smith. I wouldn't say that. Kind of very well balanced, very technically well scored. There's a bit of a WWE move going in there. To go between Chris Eubank Jr. and James together. You watch Joe Smith up without even throwing a punch, just by fainting him, just by the way he uses like that. You, you break someone like that, so, by making them miss, for stunning them, making him feel embarrassing them someone like Lomachenko but alert as we've seen him in the fight previously right on the side of the head bang on the ear yeah, available to the referee it's not the case so I think landed completely solid just a glancing blow yeah landed a really good right hand on the bow and he's come out quick here at the start Interesting there, Bivol just stuck out the left hand and just do that. You will see that from referees sometimes, they feel that it's unsportsmanlike, like that you're just trying to block your opponent's view, I don't really... Nice combination there from Bivol. I think a lot of guys like to leave the left hand out there, it does block the vision of the fighter coming forward, but it also makes it's, it's alarming and it's surprising how many times you just land that straight right hand right down the middle. Tampa after. really looking to load up on that right hand. Heading up to the final 30 seconds and oh, and try and fight fire with fire. He just needs to... On the ball of the previous round, definitely, definitely shook him a little bit. That's nice right hand left hook. Just setting his feet square there, Bivol, letting his hands go. Bit of damage on that. At 29 years old, it is... And a nice double jab there. He come out with a lot of energy. I think he definitely hurt Bivol at the end of the between the two it maybe hasn't been quite as explosive as Smith over and caused him to hang on but Smith is certainly shook Bivalu I think he, in hindsight I think he was glad that that was on the bell Joe Smith can produce something incredible in the last few seconds will be Dimitri you know Callum's 33 years old lovely right hand left up there from Bivalu Kovalev with a WBO Gavostik with a W Nice combination from Bivol. Ten seconds to go. Right at the very end here, he's looking to really pour it on. And shots getting through there, and maybe one just a little bit late. The bell goes. Smith, who was under pressure, made it through to the final bell. He made it competitive. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards, and before we do, Dimitri.